Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. It's a cold morning this morning, really cold. Thank goodness for a 26 ounce cup of coffee. Beginning of the work week, it's gonna be a long week, but then I'm off all next week, so I'm gonna do the best I can to push forward this whole week, starting with today. But first, a cup of coffee. With the crazy, crazy weekend over, and work for the next week before the Christmas holiday after watching The Last Jedi which got a lot of mixed reviews some people liked it some people didn't some people like myself was confused very much confused one of the biggest mistakes a vlogger could always have either a vlogger, anyone who likes to take photos, photographer, any of those guys, never forget your equipment. And I did. I left my Manfrotto, which is kind of like a selfie stick. Let me let this truck pass by because he's always loud. I left my selfie stick in the van because it was out of sight, out of sight, out of mind. I left it tucked in and I forgot all about it, so I'm using this regular hand to hold it. She's wondering what I was doing too. And without it, eh, I can still vlog. It's just holding it, it's kinda, it's kinda weird because now I'm holding the camera without the support of the Manfrotto and there's a little more bounce to it when I, when I walk just like this. So, it is what it is. I know I said I don't do reviews when it comes to movies, and I'm not a big movie reviewer when it comes to movies, but this movie, The Last Jedi, was probably one of the biggest movie that a lot of people waited for. Answers from Force Awakens, who's Rey's parents, who's Snoke. I'm gonna tell you right now, spoilers ahead. So if you haven't seen the movie, don't watch this video. I'm not, not gonna go into to picture details. We're just gonna talk about it. That's what this vlog's about. We're gonna talk about it. First and foremost, I want to ask everybody, what did they think of the movie? What was your thoughts? Was everything explained to you the way you thought it'd be explained? Was everything answered to you? Again, spoilers. Because I'm gonna go into details that's gonna talk about the movie. So spoilers ahead. So we don't know if Ray is a Skywalker, a Solo, or just a nobody from what Kylo Ren said. Kylo Ren said, you're a nobody. So is that what she is? Is she a nobody? Or is she a somebody and Kylo Ren just said that to try to manipulate her to think that she's a nobody? That's one, one question. Luke using that the, the Jedi Force to hologram himself over to fight Kylo Ren was another kind of not funny but kind of cool cool effect that they did. The end scene where Luke is meditating he's using his force projection to battle Kylo and then when he comes back He's like drained from all the energy he used. And then he just disappears. He dies. So it could be one with the force. The way Obi-Wan, the way Yoda did, Luke did too. And in the whole movie, Kylo Ren was saying, forget about the past, forget about the past. I think he also meant forget about the past as in Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, let's move forward with the two new Jedis, which is Kylo and Rey. That's what I think. Don't get me wrong, the movie was great. It's a great movie, visual effects, storyline, from what I read and from what I watched on YouTube and other other people who were trying to, trying to figure out what happened. A lot of people said they're building up for episode nine. So give that you know, pretty much what they're trying to do, which is, I guess, cool, if that's what they're trying to do, but 
what is it for us? I mean, again, I left the theater with more questions than answers. I left the theater trying to find out what the hell just happened. That's how I left the theater. I didn't, I left the theater dissatisfied, unsatisfied, because there's a lot of questions that needed to be asked. A lot of questions that we didn't know what the next step was, what's the next move, you know? Who's Ray's parents? Who is it? We don't know, because all Kylo Ren said was, your family, your parents were nobodies. A bunch of drunks who traded you for drink money, something like that. It's kind of like what he said. So if that's the real reason, if that's who she really is, they tied that sense at the end where they showed a boy at the very end used a force to get the broom that was hanging against the wall or leaning against the wall, not hanging. So if you didn't see that detail, watch it again. That detail actually makes a little more sense where, okay, possibly, possibly raise a nobody. Possibly. That could be a possibility. Raise a nobody. There's a bunch of kids who are force sensitive, force users. And that's the reason why she's a nobody. But again, it could have been Snoke manipulating Kylo's mind to tell him your family is a nobody. But again, this is my opinion. This is how I feel. A lot of people did say they liked it. A lot of people did say it was kind of like on the fence of what it was. I, I was left confused. Not sure what the movie was about. Not sure the direction they were going. I'm kind of glad J.J. Abrams is going to be directing the last episode. Because The Forces Awakens was actually great. This middle one, and it's always the middle one. Empire was just okay. The biggest twist in Empire is when we found out Darth Vader was the father. Attack of the Clones, again, the middle of the trilogy, just okay. This one, just okay. It's just okay. It wasn't the best, but it's just okay. But that is it. That is my take to The Last Jedi. That is my opinion to The Last Jedi. Again, everybody has different opinions. Everybody has different takes when it comes to it. Mine, probably doesn't matter, but that's it. I'm done. I'm probably going to rewatch it again when it comes back out on Dragon Box because I'm not going to pay for it a second time around. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Vlog's ended. Go in peace.